on tour, it's a little bit different than when uh, when we're putting a show together. For example, if we were putting a show together, we would be usually in Montreal, and the artists would work from nine to five, probably for at least four months. If it's a recreation or a remount, if it's a new show, that would be one year of working like that. But then once we're on tour, um, we don't have training every day. We try to have training only when there's one show. Uh, if it's a one show day, then we'll have some training. So our first day into the venue, which is generally you know a Tuesday or a Wednesday, we're going to have a lot of training on that day. So it will be sometime from noon, from about 12 o'clock, until about 5 o'clock. And all of the artists and all of the different groups will warm up. Sometimes they warm up in a group. Sometimes if they're a solo artist, they will warm up by themselves. Um, and I'm there, uh, depending on the act, either to supervise or to coach them directly. Basically, the Pilates that I teach is, uh, I, I do that in conjunction or partnering up with the performance medicine team, which is kind of our athletic therapy, uh, physiotherapy department. Um, and if an artist needs specific things, then I would work on one-on-one -on -one with them uh, for specific exercises. However, every week I give about three uh, classes of Pilates, which is a general class that's open to um, any of the artists that want to come. Bueno, yo personalmente, yo no, yo no llevo ninguna dieta eh, estricta. Sí que es verdad que me cuido la alimentación, pero lo hago porque siempre, como te comentaba, muchos años compitiendo, estoy acostumbrado a una disciplina, ¿no? Entonces, disciplina quiere decir eh, el, el venir aquí, el entrenar, hacer tu, tus pesas, el, el saltar en trampolín, el alimentarte bien, ¿no? Para, para poder tener energía suficiente ¿no? para poder hacer shows sin problemas. Eh, yo lo hago así porque yo soy así. Eh, nadie, nadie nunca jamás me tuvo que decir, oye, tienes que entrenar, tienes que mantenerte en forma. Anybody you ask on the show is going to be different. It's a very personal thing, you know, how you get ready for the day or what you need to do before the show or how you need to eat. Um, so from a personal standpoint, I can say that I like to wake up and the first thing I do in the morning is I go and I run. I usually run anywhere from five kilometers to 10, maybe at most 15, but anywhere in between in, in between that range, I would say. Um, from there, you know, you get ready, you take a shower, you brush your teeth, you know, you get ready for your day. We come in here and we'll train a bit. Uh, some, sometimes just weights, sometimes specific exercises, you know, like I perform the aerial tissue, so sometimes I'll do aerial tissue backstage just to warm up a little bit. Um, but we are doing, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten shows a week. So even that by itself is plenty of training because you're always, you know, on stage. There's four in my team. There's myself and I have three team members that work with me. At the moment, uh, we are three English girls and a lady from Quebec in Canada. Uh, we have been with the show now for, as a team, about a year. Mary Lou, who is from Quebec, has actually been with the company for over seven years, previously working in the hat department in Montreal, which is where all of our costumes are made. In the dressing room, there's a lot of craziness, because obviously people, the artists here, we have a flight of stairs that separate the backstage area to the dressing rooms. So some of our house troop boys, our guys from China, are actually downstairs in a dressing room, and the rest of the artists are up here. So what they're having to do is leave backstage, come, run up two flights of stairs, get to their dressing room, change out of their costume, get into their next one, and run back downstairs to get on stage. So it can vary depending on the arena. Sometimes Times, we're all on one level. Some people have very fast changes that they have to do. So we actually have a quick change area, which is a booth that's set up backstage, which is where the artists will change. I think Cirque du Soleil as a company is very unique in what they present as a costume. We actually present the whole package. So we wear a lot of makeup in our show. All the artists are actually trained in doing their own makeup. Some of them can train for up to 16 hours in Montreal when they're first hired. Actually, the, the whole process, making sure that it's exactly precise from when they start to when they finish with the company. It's our job to monitor it, to make sure that they're good. It also is designed alongside the costume, so it's a whole image that we're presenting. We have two whole road cases that just store makeup for the artists. So here is the first of the colours that they use. We use a cream base first and then on top of that what they'll actually do is add a powder which gives that very vibrant colour that you guys see as an audience member. So something like this colour here, this blue, 
this is the cream variety and here will be the powder variety. So you see that they're almost identical. Uh, I think one of the keys to making the magic happen is to, is to have the right people uh, working with you. It's like any job, you know? If you've got the right, the world's best personalities, the world's best talent working with you, then, uh, then you're able to produce amazing things that are the world's best standard. I think this is one of Cirque du Soleil's greatest assets is that we do, we do scope the entire globe looking for the right talent for our shows. Uh, and also when they come together, uh, here we have a very, very nice family atmosphere with our entire team. So it's important that we all take care of each other when we're touring. It's important that we respect each other for our talents and our differences and our abilities. Uh, and, and I think we see in many ways the theme of harmony that we have on stage is also the theme that we have behind the scenes as well, which is great.